was first type of soil structure now we shall move to second type of soil structure which is honeycomb soil structure uh, here what happens is the soil particles are of very small size they will range from 0.02 mm to uh, still lower value 0.002 mm <clears throat> and these uh, particles are usually in the soil which is known as sand fine sand or silt okay so if you see depending on the particle size uh, the name of the sand changes technically okay fine sand or silt gravel and uh, there are so many terminologies that are used so each terminology has certain meaning okay so when we call the sand by different names it is major uh, or it is mainly uh, related to the particle size okay if the coarser size is there it is uh, called gravel or sand if the finer particles are there it is called fine sand silt and the more the difference in particle sizes more are the names uh, we call the sand by okay uh, so when this type of soil is allowed that is silt to settle on the ground what happens is particles they attract each other and they form one bridge type of uh, structure okay and that particular uh, form is known as honeycomb soil structure exactly how this is here okay so if you see these soil particles they are forming the chains and these chains are interconnected to each other okay and this is the realistic picture of this honeycomb structure and these particles are very very fine particles okay uh, so this is honeycomb soil structure what are the properties here since the particle size is very small so there is a large void okay uh, between the bridges where you can see here this is one chain or bridge of the soil particles here a lot of space is available in between the bridges okay so voids ratio of this soil particle system is much more uh, so what will happen is uh, this soil will be very loose in nature okay uh, still they are uh, connected to each other because of the cohesive force or force of attraction between them okay <clears throat> and this cohesion is only because of their size it means they are very small in size and they are connected to each other because of force of attraction between each other and these soils are not plastic in nature means what if you pour some water in this dry sand bulking of sand will take place and this is nothing but the structure of the honeycomb okay bulking of the sand when water is added so this is dry state of sand if you pour water in this you will get something like this uh, kind of uh, honeycomb type of structure okay uh, that is why the name is given to this particular soil structure as honeycomb uh, so here honeycomb structure soil it is limited for static condition why because again it is uh, very loose in nature <clears throat> so if you apply pressure on this type of soil structure the soil particles will get compressed there will be considerable settlement and uh, the structure erected on this soil or soil structure it will be subjected to settlement or if you apply uh, dynamic loading in the form of vibrations or shocks then ultimately that particular structure may collapse okay so again since this is loose loose type of soil structure just like single grain structure uh, 
uh, it is also not suitable for uh, vibrations and shocks okay uh, so the structures which are subjected to vibrations and shocks uh, should not be uh, suggested to be constructed on this type of soil structure that is the uh, conclusion uh, then lacculated uh, soil structure third type of soil structure let us see what is here uh, this structure is present in clay particles which contains larger surface area so again since this is clay type of uh, soil structure clay means it is very very fine soil particles so <clears throat> this is also loose in nature so here these are the charged particles okay which have positive charge on the edges and negative charge on the face of the particles so uh, this a net attractive force between the particles it will attract the particles towards each other that means positive charged particles will attract negatively charged faces please remember negative charge is on the faces and positive charge is on the ends of these particles okay and because of this force of attraction the formed formed uh, structure is termed as flocculated structure exactly how does this resemble it is something like this uh, graphically if you see on the ends there is a positive charge and on the surface there is negative charge okay so here clay present in the marine area so where do we see this type of soil structure in the sea region okay in the marine area it is the best example for flocculated structure why there is force of attraction because marine water contains salt this salt gets uh, <coughs> mixed with the soil in that particular region and soil in that marine water will act as electrolyte and it will reduce the repulsive force between the particles and that is why the flocculated soil structure gets formed okay so the salt present in the flocculated soil structure is responsible for formation of this type of soil structure uh, this soil will have high shear strength why because of the edge uh, to face orientation void ratio is also high okay so here if you see one particle and another particle again the gap between the two particles is too much okay so there is a relatively larger void present so it is again loose type of soil structure so this will have high shear strength and because of the high uh, sorry because of the edge to face orientation it means this is the edge okay and this is the face here for this particular soil particle so this face is meeting the edge of the another particle this face is meeting this edge of the soil particle so edge to face orientation all particles will have this type of orientation okay so because of edge to face orientation void ratio is high they are not parallel to each other and water content also optimum okay so for this type of soil structure water content is optimum but they are light in weight uh, it is not something like first type of soil structure a single grain soil structure where if you pour the water it will make a bulky sand no it is not that this this will make the soil structure light in weight if you add water and because of this compressibility is very low for this type of soil because the water does not remain uh, in the soil structure if you pour water in the soil uh, water gets drained out okay it will not hold the water to much extent okay that is why compressibility is very low 
then next type of soil structure is dispersed soil structure uh, here also it is again a loose type of soil here dispersed soil structure also occurs in clay particles where the clay is remolded it means if you try to change the shape of the uh, clay particles or clay type of soil structure then uh, it is giving us dispersed soil structure what will happen if you try to change the uh, shape of this uh, soil structure that is remolding the remolding will reduce the shear strength of the soil and ultimately it will uh, reduce the net attractive forces between the particles okay so the particles will not hold each other with much more strength and they will try to uh, push away each other okay so this repulsive force is there between them then what will happen initially it was edge to face orientation okay so now it will become opposite orientation it will turn into face to edge orientation okay all particles will change their orientation from face to edge uh, sorry face to face face to face it means face of one particle it will uh, become or it will attracted it will get attracted towards the face of the other particle i will just try to explain here so if i have one particle something like this okay so another particle will also be something like this okay so face to face so uh, this is actually edge to edge not like this let me tell you again so this is face this is face another face of the particle so something like this the structure will be and the dispersed structure of clay will form after this orientation okay uh, so this is dispersed soil structure here uh, this will give us a clear idea about face to face these two are face to face soil particles here obviously there will be some void between the two particles face to face okay in reality this is something what the soil structure will become so you can visualize what exactly i am talking about uh, so this type of soil structure it is highly compressible and less permeable it means uh, the settlement of this type of soil structure is more because air uh, will get drained out from this uh, type of soil structure and less amount of water will be held okay so loss of strength during remolding is slowly achieved by the soil with time so uh, as the time passes the soil structure gets uh, settled down okay and after some time uh, the strength will be achieved okay so the process of regaining its strength after remolding it is called thixotropy so thixotropy is a terminology referred to dispersed soil structure and what is technically thixotropy process of regaining its strength after remolding it means you are changing the shape of the soil structure okay remolding means you are changing the shape of the soil structure and because you have changed the shape of the soil structure after certain time the soil structure will regain its lost shear strength okay it will regain it so that term or that uh, process is called thixotropy then coarse grained soil structure what is here 
coarse grained skeleton it is the structure of soil which is present in composite soils containing both fine and coarse grained particles so this is uh, present in composite soils composite soils will have both type of uh, particles fine particles as well as coarse particles but it is formed when there is large amount of coarse grained particles than the fine grained particles it means content of uh, coarse grained particles is much more than fine grained particles in composite soil uh, what is the role of coarse grained particles they shall form a skeleton like structure and voids between them are filled by uh, fine grained particles okay so if it is undisturbed what will happen it will give good results against heavy loads and if it is disturbed then strength will extensively reduce why will uh, strength get reduced because if you disturb the soil sample the fine particles will uh, get or leave their position which is actually the void between the two coarse grained particles okay so this is what the uh, coarse grained skeleton soil structure looks like if you can see here larger particles are the coarse grained particles and in between the two whatever the void is there it is occupied by the fine particles which are nothing but clay okay so this is a mixed type of soil structure composite soil last type is clay matrix soil structure what is there in clay matrix soil structure here uh, this uh, is also one of the form of uh, composite soil but here amount of clay particles or fine particles is more it means exactly opposite of the previous one okay here fine grain particles amount is more in compa comparison to coarse grain particles coarse particles in the soil are separated with each other and they are less in quantity so this type of soil is very stable why because uh, as good as powder of a soil powder form of soil which is clay soil is more in amount and uh, it has sa same properties of an ordinary ordinary clay deposit okay Uh, so something like this if you can see here coarse grain particles are much more in number and co uh, sorry fine particles or clay soil is much more in comparison to gravels or coarse grain particles so this is how actually a clay matrix soil structure looks like so friends these are different types of soil structures and this is how technically we need to understand them okay